our gracious sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth. Let thy grace enlighten her, thy goodness confirm her, and thy providence protect her, and grant that she and all who are in authority under her may advance thy glory and the welfare of her people. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And marching on to parade are the new colours of the 1st Battalion, the 2nd Battalion and the 4th Battalion. O Lord our God, who from thy throne beholdest all the kingdoms on earth, have regard unto our land, that it may continue a place and a people to serve thee to the end of time. Guide the governments of this great commonwealth of nations, and grant that all who live beneath our flag may be so mindful of that threefold cross, that they may work for the good of others according to the example of him, who died in the service of men, thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember, O Lord, what thou hast wrought in us, and not what we deserve. And as thou hast called us to thy service, make us worthy of our calling, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we do consecrate and set apart these colours, that they may be a sign of our duty towards our Queen and our country. In the sight of God, Amen. The presentation of new colours is a significant moment in the life of any regiment, but for one that is forging for itself a renewed identity, it is a special opportunity to pay tribute to the achievements of the past, to give thanks for the commitment in the present, and to express confidence in the future. The colours that have been presented today are a testament to the great history inherited by the Duke of Lancaster's regiment, a history which began in 1680 in the reign of Charles II. But whilst you are the inheritors, you are at the same time pioneers.